Hi, let me ask you a question. When was the last time you were tempted? Someone has said that opportunity only knocks once, but temptation beats on my door all day long. All kinds of temptations at all kinds of various times. Where do these temptations come from? James has an answer for that in chapter 1, verses 14 through 16. Temptation comes from our own desires, which entice us and drag us away. These desires give birth to sinful actions, and when sin is allowed to grow, it gives birth to death. So don't be misled, my dear brothers and sisters. Temptation is not sin. Jesus was tempted, yet he did not sin. What we do with temptations de determines whether we sin or not. We need to be prepared to deal with these desires before they progress into sin. How do we do that? The psalmist says, Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. Paul in Galatians says, When we walk in the Spirit, we shall not satisfy the desires of the flesh. That's it. That's the answer. Next time a sinful desire tries to entice and drag us away, depend on God's Word and the power of the Holy Spirit to keep us on course. Don't be mis misled or deceived. If we think we can get away with something, without consequences, we are only fooling ourselves. An athlete needs to prepare and to train for competition. So also, we need to prepare for spiritual battle. Set aside a dedicated time for reading, studying, and memorizing God's Word. Be continuously filled with the Holy Spirit. In this way, we'll be prepared to handle anything that comes along.